Oh. How's it going? Good. Okay. <laughs> it's Sunday night, and this is when we normally do it. We missed last week. I'm Robert Patton. I'm the CEO of Sheath Underwear. This is Stacy Avum. She's the CEO of Koala, Koala Bags. Bags. Yeah. She has. She can interpret with sign language this entire I conversation. Could. I should maybe do a deaf friendly one one day. Yeah. You think? Yes, I think you should interpret what I'm saying for like two seconds. So, that was two seconds. Um, or should we, are we drinking wine? We are drinking wine. This is wine in sign language, by the way. Important things. <coughs> I know how to spell my name. B-O-B-B-Y. So, it's my name. I am good. I'm good. And... My name is Stacy. Stacy. I am the business owner of Koala. K-O-A-L-A. -A. Check him out. Right, Check her out on Instagram because she just had Kira doing some oh, yeah. some so signing uh, for her bag. She forgot how to spell Koala, but it was super <laughs> funny. Cute. And you have a lot of supporters out there. And we're trying to get more. Not nearly as a year, but we're not here really talking about koala or sheep per se, are we? Maybe. Sometimes. Sometimes. Go to koala-bags.com, check out her purses. She just got a new shipment in. Yes. My black. Black bags. But Everyone black. was asking for black bags. And as a business owner, you want to, like, uh, there's demand from the customers, and then you supply that demand. And... Like whenever we but get, but everybody says they want stuff, and then you do it, and then you don't sell it. Everybody sometimes like, okay, so here, I'm gonna go to your thing right here. Yeah, because sometimes, like with sheath, we had a. I was wearing a, sh a promotional sheath hat, and everyone's, oh, that's the coolest hat ever. You should uh, make hats. I know. So, I made hats, and then nobody really bought them. But so we're no longer selling the hats. So. But you gotta try things, try, try and fail, you know, like, most successful people failed many, many times before they became successful. You only hear about the successes, you don't hear about all the failures. And so, you know, sh we're going through failures um, on the journey to become successful. And I think that's kind of what she's dealing with right now, which... It's nowhere, anyways, it's not, you're not failing, but you're just not, like, seeing all the results just yet. It's been four months. Exactly, four months. According to your friend, I'm crowning. Yeah, so she's okay. just giving birth to her baby. And it is, and you, if you think of a business like a child, you have to take care of it when it's a baby. You know, you have to give it everything and everything and everything. And then, but soon enough, it's, you know, you're sending it off to school and, and it starts kind of, like operating on their own accord and you can, and then one day you know like there's levels of necessity that you have to put into the business there's the levels of like like uh, care that you need to take and then eventually it'll it's it becomes it's it's alive and it's operating on its own like for sheath I, if I were to leave it would exist without me but I do notice what I'm doing is when I am invested, whether it be being more active on social media, posting, going to vending events, talking to people, being out there, just being out, playing pool or hanging out, talking, hustling 24-7, you do get results from that. So you can't just have a really great idea, put it out there, and then hope that it just works. It just normally doesn't work that way. Especially with this day and age, there is a personal kind of story behind a lot of brands that people uh, they um, attach to, they can identify with, they, they want to help the person. Or not help the person, but support the person and support the brand. They don't just want to go buy something because it's a name brand anymore. They want to be in, find something new and different and be a part of that and, and like the... They want to tell their friends, oh, check out this new thing that I found. And that's where Kickstarter comes in. We're trying to get her to do a Kickstarter, no pressure. Because she works a full-time job. It's a lot of work to build a brand. Maybe we can talk about, maybe we can talk about this when that does happen, like <laughs> what that's going to be like. So 
tentatively right now, I guess in like three weeks, look at start doing a Kickstarter. That's yeah. gonna kind of be stressful. I know, but so and that, but like, it starts with creating an account and then coming up with different what do they call them? Um, so you have backers that, and then you have like these rewards or whatever in different levels of, because I did a Kickstarter, Sheets did a Kickstarter, you can go check out, check it out. You did two. Two of them. Whenever you do the Kickstarter, it stays on their platform forever. So our, our Kickstarters are still on there. If you search Sheet Underwear, you'll see both of them and they were successful, but, and it, it seems daunting, it seems intimidating, but it's actually pretty, it's almost as easy as kind of just like filling out a form and just like you fill in the blanks. It, it's, it has all the different slots. You just have to put all the different information in the different slots. And then once you press live, that's when it's like, that's when the stress starts because. I don't know. I, I don't even want to think about it just, no, just we're not, I mean, we'll, we'll think about, I'll think about it later. Yeah. But we. I'm talking to them. We haven't, yeah, we haven't, well, like. Who's them? Like one person yes, right now, them. but maybe if we, I mean, maybe would people would come back and be like, "What did they start?" You know, years ago, we can see. So this is sort of us started. Like you're getting ready just to kill it, so you've got a lot of stuff happening. You haven't checked in for two weeks, so what has happened in two weeks? I, I mean, I went to San Antonio. Have we done one since I got back to San from San Antonio? I don't think, I think so. so. So I went to San Antonio, we packed up two tons of underwear to ship to Vegas, where they took over our fulfillment center, but any, like, it, that's been stressful because any transition, for the most part, is not going to go smoothly. It's not going to go as quickly as you It hasn't anticipate. been that bad, though, has it? I mean, you've been stressed, but it hasn't been that bad. Well, it took longer than it was supposed to, and the, mm. the transport from of the product to get to the warehouse and then the tr and then having them in process all of the underwear and we're still not 100% done and it's been not quite two weeks but it seems like it so we have a lot of back orders waiting to get filled because they haven't gotten everything in their system yet but it's almost there and we actually found out some really good news last night which was the cost of shipping from like international shipping is well it's like cut in like a third <laughs> and I don't even want to tell everyone because I don't know that we're going to cut the cost of that we're charging people just yet because you can make extra money on charging more for shipping business tip number two. Yeah. But I, I but with that, you have to get to a certain level to be able to go to where you're at. Your fulfillment center seems to be though really, which by the way, we should plan a trip to Vegas. Oh, I have a just go check it out. We should I mean, go. I have, I have Wait, we should do that in two weeks. Okay. I mean, I have three free we nights. We have like, a, we're more supposed to take a weekend off, so let's go. Okay. We could we could do this from Vegas. Be like, hey, we're in Vegas. Okay. For no reason. I'll call my investor. Be like, hey, I'm in town. You can meet Ryan. Okay. You haven't met Ryan. Yes. Maybe Ryan. be like, get on it, because my my investor needs to pick it up a little bit. I feel he's super nice, but he's very much let me make all my own decisions and hasn't really offered too much of anything. I mean, I had investors point. initially. Who, but they're more like partners. He doesn't seem yeah. as much of a partner. This guy, I mean, like my investors did, but yeah, no, the he same gives time. no, he gives no advice. He's on no decision making. He doesn't want to be involved in any decision making. Whenever I ask him a question, he's like, I don't know, what do you think? Like he won't. He's like, it has, it's your business, it's your thing. So he's really just kind of an investor. But he was supposed to be an angel investor to help me. Um, but we'll see. Maybe he'll get more excited later. <laughs> That's what happened with my guys. Like initially. They weren't so involved, but then when they started to see the success building or see my determination and m the fact that I was not going to give up, they st and and then the success that started occurring, they were like, okay, well, I want to. They wanted to get more involved, and you know, I tried to buy one of them out, and he was like, mm -hmm. no, he wanted to keep it because he saw the value. Okay, so you moved to Vegas quickly. Yes. What else has happened in two weeks? Um. Quickly, what else? There was... I can think of one. Yeah, you know, go ahead. Montana. Yo, yeah. yeah. So shout out to Overtime. Yes. Um, check him out on YouTube. The song Foundation is super cool. And I, So we were listening to this song, The Foundation by Overtime, which her son introduced us to. It's super so sweet. motivating. He, he thought of us, so he sent us a song, Foundation by Overtime. Yeah, and he's, a, he's like a, not, he, he's a relatively unknown rapper, but he's selling out different venues and he has millions of views on YouTube 
But after listening to the song and getting motivated, she suggested that I reach out to him, and I did, and he responded. I know, it's so crazy. And he's like, yeah, I'll rep your brand. He's like, I'll come on your podcast. I've been going on, uh, I mean, you know, I do a webcast on our Sheath page. Shout out at Sheath. Did you, um, so you did a, a, a webcast today. And it was with which we can talk about maybe next is the docu the doc the film that your company is supporting. Literally after twenty minutes, it was like five thousand people had viewed it. Did you see that? No, I hadn't seen that. Like, keep on keep on talking about overtime. I'm gonna look at this up. So overtime is going to be sort of collaborating with Sheath. We're gonna promote his brand. He's, he's gonna awesome. promote I'm our brand. He's, he's a rapper from Montana. He's super motivating. He's a hustler. He's been doing it for like ten years, just like me, and. A lot of us out there, so if you can identify with that, check him out and support his music because and it, it'll it'll motivate you to get up and grind for the day. Um, but I went on this morning to a radio show, ninety eight point five Blazing FM. Four times. Yeah, this Four was the fourth times. time to promote this movie from shock to awe, which is debuting on Veterans Day, two thousand eighteen, for the historical. Anyways, um, what is that? Prosperity or something? Now. I had got. We were trying to sell enough tickets to make sure that this premiere ha occurred, and we had to sell forty-three tickets. It wasn't like this huge skyrocket like number, but it, we we're having a, a, some challenges in in selling the tickets. But through through the with the help of of this radio station and whatever me getting out there and just promoting and promoting and promoting. We ended up selling all the tickets we needed to make sure that the premiere occurred. And today, one of the the main cast me member of the movie joined me, and we had a really cool conversation about the healing effects of ayahuasca, which is a plant found in Peru. Well, it's a combination of plants. It's a brew, and it's kind of like mushrooms, if you will. It's a it's an alternative mm -hmm. medicine, an earth medicine. 4.6k. I was at 4.9 this morning. I don't understand how it's less. Well, maybe... I don't, know, make I don't sense. know. That's what it said on my thing. Anyway, we'll move this back over here so we can see ourselves kind of... It's good, though. Yeah. I mean, I... I they love you there, though. They were all like... We're, we're here with stars. And yes, I'm a star they like now, you. Right? No, uh, don't call me... I'm okay, so um, what else has happened? Sober October is over. So how's that going? Yes, wine. This is actually real wine. It's not... We went through the entire month of October, no wine, no weed, no cigarettes, and since it's, you know, past the date, I, I personally have not, I decided not to smoke weed with the help of her, and she's not smoking cigarettes, and we're like, we're good for each other in that regard, because I... It's so easy to slip back into old habits, and it was not, I don't even think it was serving me, like, in this way where I was, like, I don't know, I wasn't... I'm not against weed, though. I me just either. don't see that it was helpful, what it was supposed to be achieving for you, but... It wasn't helping you'll, you'll sleep. You'll smoke again, it'll be on a special occasion. Yeah. I love cigarettes, I haven't smoked a cigarette for a while, but eventually I will smoke again one yeah. day, and it'll be a, it'll be a good thing. It'll be a special occasion, don't, but you don't want to, you want to treat these things like a treat and not just like an everyday all day type of like addiction or something you know where you're abusing it goes from it. use to abuse pretty right. quickly and easily so and if you're out there smoking first thing in the morning all day long until you go to bed like you know what the deal is you know that's not good you think it's good you call, yeah, it, it call it medicine down. i saw you that one time in florida yeah when you were all anxious and i was like okay he just needs some weed he'll calm down this and that or whatever and he um I still got I get I still you got more anxious. Weed and then you got even worse and I'm like what the hell you're supposed to be chill and so I'm like how is this even helping like I didn't see it was beneficial. So. I don't feel I like I barely feel different. You know, I don't feel like I feel like the same as I did when I was smoking except I'm not as tired and I'm a little I'm more articulate. It's better at Tetris. Yeah, I'm quicker and what she's a genius. Like she beats me at every game we play, but it, like most guys might get like frustrated or irritated, but I find it good for me because it forces me to step up my game and see the numbers. It's Anyways, cells today. Yeah, we've been we've started off the month very well. We've had some slow months due to lack of inventory, but 
I was thinking, like, you were talking about this, the, what percentage you were up. Was it last night? Yeah, 65%. You would be up a lot more if you wouldn't have sold out three times. Like, you sold out every month, and then you didn't have anything to sell. So you would be up a lot more if you weren't out. But We were up 100% you... all the way up until uh, August, and then we just had some really slow months, which should have because been... Because there, no, there was no inventory. Yeah, exactly. Why is it I like your little that? notification to stop eating. Yes. Um, I was doing the, what is that? Intermittent like, fasting. Intermittent fasting. We're, we're yeah. eating now. We're not. Okay, so Sober October is not going to be get your ass to the gym November, I think. We're going to start. We'll check well, into that. Well, also, it's called Vortex November. Oh, is it Vor- did you, didn't Vor- that make that up? No, that was Corey. It? Oh, Corey, Corey made it up. Vortex November. Shout out to Corey, Elevation Hydration, Matt at Ohana Kava Bar. Those are two of the members of my CEO group, which... I suggest you find other like-minded people to do your, you know, go, join you kind of like on your journey because a, not there's not a lot of pe- it's hard to find, but if you can find them, do that because there's not a lot of people that can kind of identify or, or whatever with you. Yeah, it's hard, but the thing that's hard is that you find a lot of people you think that can identify with you and they kind of like disappear. But I think for every ten, you can hang one or two yeah and so and we, we have, found each other hey in one of those groups. Mm-hmm. oh yeah we're uh, like at a meetup and that's a good place to go to find other entrepreneurs if you're on that path check your little app the meetup app and what what was it like young professionals or, Springs young professionals yeah. shout out to somebody yeah that one dude i'm gonna be going yeah <laughs> anyway. he's good he's, yeah he's fine we can't well except for that well anyways yeah treat people right when be you're nice doing business people. yeah don't burn bridges Keep it like super pro, and because whatever you put out there comes back to you. And if you treat people like shit, like it's gonna come back to you. Go the extra mile, be extra. You know, like treat- I think you should be nice. It doesn't matter like what your position. I don't know. Just everybody is deserving of respect. It doesn't matter what acronym or initials or whatever you have behind or in front of your name or any of that kind of stuff. So I don't know. Anyway. On what, to is, it. Are we going to do well, a, is there a question? questions or is there anything else? We've got, oh, we've got family coming in. That hasn't happened yet. But we have, your mom's coming into town. Your mom's coming My into mom's town. My mom's coming into town. It's going to be a, a, like. Family. Affair. Affair. It's going to be so much fun. So. Yeah. And then we didn't even plan fun it. Fun slash obligation. Yeah. It'll be good. It'll be great. I like my family. My mom's so sweet. My, my mom, mom is the sweetest. Of course she is. She loves you. And my mom is going to love you. She and will. she's super sweet too. So I promise you that. Um, there's probably other things, but we if we remember, we can come back to it. I got my it. black bags here on the radio. Montana moving to Vegas, doing really well with sales. Speaking of sales, you've made some sales. Every time we're on this, it always seems to put some stuff out there. And, so, and that's a good indication. But you've been making sales all day, obviously. You're doing really good today. Better than what you've been doing. Something's going right. Vortex. Well, you have inventory. November. I think that's the number one thing. Yeah, we did get our inventory. And we got a lot more inventory coming in. And, I mean, I have like a million dollars worth of inventory in route. So yeah, you like all those girls' underwear and those long, what are they called? The base yeah. layer. Yeah. Base layer is coming out. Uh, before Black Friday, we're pushed. We, you know, I, I've been having issues with delays in our inventory arriving, and so this particular That's, but next batch. When are you batch, ever not having issues? I know. Like ever that well, except for my bags. They came early. They came early, like weeks early. So. You're gonna have to. You're gonna and have they really, came before I even paid for them. She's like, I didn't even know they were there. Anyway, but you're gonna have to do a Black Friday. I'll do a Black Friday for something. It's gonna be good. I'll do something. Do it like two days before. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it the day before Thanksgiving. Well, then there's Cyber Monday, so there's like two days. I think I'm going to do the 37%. I think that does pretty good. I have no ads or anything running. I'm, it is what it is. We'll see. It's four months oh. in. You're four months in. Um, we're, do- we're donating to this... Um, Deaf and Blind, Colorado, Denver. Well, yeah, we're doing that. But no, my, did you bring... I'm stopping. I'm going tomorrow to that place to donate. Did you bring stuff? Uh, I did. Okay. I did. I'm going to go tomorrow to that. Okay. What is it again? I don't know. Well, she, we're donating. It's good to donate. Again, it's all like put Everything. good out and yeah, we it, always it like, comes back to you. Give, give, give. That way you, when, when the time comes for you to make an ask, you haven't just been asking, asking, asking. You always give, give, give. Provide value and then 
when the time comes, then people will feel obligated. It's for the, it's pink Cadillac, it's the boutique down on the west side, and, like, the other owner is, like, going through, like, dialysis and kidney failure, and so they're doing, like, a fundraiser for this small business, and that's what it's for. I'll find out more information tomorrow, I didn't read it, but we're donating to it, because we yeah. donate to everything. Basically. Donate to the homeless. Whenever anybody asks me to donate, I'm like, sure. They're like, would you be willing to donate to the back? I'm like, yeah, I could probably get some underwear too. And I always ask you, and you're like, okay. Absolutely, I love to say. give away underwear because once I you put it in their hand, and if they, you know, the proof is in the pudding when it comes to the underwear. Yeah, once you try it, yeah, yeah, then you know, and then you'll buy more. Oh, you picked one already. I did pick one. Let me read it. Okay. He's so cute. Oh. Do we already ask? Do we already answer no, this? No, well, yeah, I think so. What is it? From a motivational standpoint, what advice would you give? I like that. Okay, well, you, that's your question right there. Uh, read books on motivation. We've been listening, I've been, every morning, I've been going to YouTube and just, and listening to those motivational compilations of like The Rock Ooh, and I Joe like Rogan and, I send you those. And, and, and Gary They're Vaynerchuk. Good to work out yeah, I mean, it's, it's like coffee, but. Um, it's all in your mind and you know it, the motivation comes from the vision your motivation is don't stop yeah never give up never quit once you quit it's over and you know get up and work out in the morning like you need to be working out <laughs> in the morning you're yeah. gonna say in the morning maybe in the morning no. or whatever well maybe in the morning for some people but I don't think like if I had to wake up in the morning if I had to wake up and work out that would just never happen it's good to get the juices flowing, you know, get the blood pumping. I have that, I bought that trampoline to, you know, maybe take a cold shower in the morning and just wake up and visualize your goals, write them down. It's, it's helpful to have a checklist, obviously, so that you're not like scrambling around. What am I going to do next? Make five, pick five things every day, not more, not less. You can do five things to make your way clo get closer to your goal and you know check them off and then the next day do the same thing and do that 365 days a year and you will accomplish like 15,000 things getting closer to your goal but even if you did one thing you know that's still making progress but like for motivation you know um you have to find with the why, you know, like, why are you doing it? Well, I took a theory of motivation class in college, and I had to study all these different theories of motivation, and basically, after the entire class, it seemed like a lot of it just boiled down to what they call in intrinsic and extrinsic motivation, things that motivate you from externally, like money, fame, a bigger house, a nicer car, to intrinsic things that motivate you internally and everything and all the different theories could kind of maybe come to one of those and intrinsic always won out like the external things would be good for like short-term things to get you motivated but wouldn't um, have long-lasting effects but I did learn I did listen to or watch a YouTube motivation thing about motivation and like they were going off on it but like there's no such thing as motivation motivation is bullshit you can't bullshit. fabricate motivation. Like, you can't just expect to, like, stumble across it. Like, you have to, like, you have to, the want, like, has to become a need. And you have to need it, like, yeah. how you want water. Like, it's Air. not something that you're just going to be like, oh, let me, like, like watch this video or take this pill. And now I have motivation. Because motivation can't just be magically presented to you. And so, like, to motivate yourself is you have to, you have to want it. I mean, I tattooed sheath on my back as somewhat of a motivation to never quit and it's because like that would be embarrassing so you put yourself in a position where it would almost be embarrassing to give up or whatever I don't know if that's a good motivator but it's, what, well, like what is motivation like if you were to add, if you were to define motivation what is motivation what's your definition of motivation um, to want something, no, to want something so bad that you would die if you didn't get it, but, or feel, not die, but like, at the, when you're on your deathbed and you're looking back at your life, 
are you going to be proud? Well, how do you motivate yourself to go through the day just to, like, uh, do laundry and, like, do all these tasks and things you need to do? That's, like, I don't need to, like, clean my house. Like, I'm going to die. Like, but how do you find the motivation to do simple tasks? It kind of, it's just... If you're looking for someone else to motivate you, that's going to be problematic. Like, Alex came over, and he wanted... this. Her friend Alex comes over. Does that mean to him, by the way? No. Do you think... He no, I mean... Him? No, because... He needs to be more disciplined and, like, follow so through. So maybe, like, it's not motivation, it's just self-discipline. Because motivation isn't yeah, really just do existing. The work. Like, actually, motivation is self-discipline and doing it, especially when you don't want to do it. So, like, every time I go to the gym, I don't want to be at the gym. It's not like, woohoo, I'm so excited to be at the gym. It's going to be so much fun. Like, I'm always glad I did it afterwards yeah. and I always feel good afterwards. But, like, I never roll up to the gym, like, woohoo, like, I'm super pumped. Like, I don't get that feeling. I feel like, fuck. And it's like, the days that I feel like I really don't want to do it are the days that tell myself those are the days that I really need to do it. And so, like, but that motivation to do it isn't really motivation. It's more like a the de determination. Like, it becomes not so much an emotional thing. It becomes of, like, it becomes a part of a task. It's something that I have to do. It's not negotiable. It's not an emotion. It's not something that you get to negotiate or talk yourself out of. Like, it's just something you just fucking do. And sometimes like, I get motivated so. when I see other people doing it, and I'm like, yeah. oh, they're doing it. I can do it. And then I get, like, pumped up to just, l it can be done. I can, and, and, and so if I see I mean, you could be super lazy if you wanted to. I could do nothing. Days. I could do so nothing I every day. I can't do nothing. No, I mean, I could, but then I wouldn't feel good about myself. It's, and I, I want, Do you like, think that motivation is something that's, like, built inside of you or something that you learn or, like, how could you... Like, certain people that we know, or that I know, like, if they didn't have to do something, they just wouldn't. They would sleep, they would take naps, they would smoke weed all day, they wouldn't do anything. Like, you don't do that. I mean, I know, yeah, but I know people I mean, you could. that you have had, like, a silver five. spoon kind of shoved up their so, ass I mean, this, like, their what, whole is it, life. Is it, like, something that's just, like, made, built inside of you, I or think maybe from it? your, some, like, from your childhood. If you didn't have things handed to you your entire childhood, or you, you don't have that kind of fallback option, that motivates you to get up and go to work every day, and I, but I do have a fallback option. I could literally do nothing every day, but I would be living kind of just, like, bare minimum, and I want, I, I want it all, you know, I want the dream, I want, I want the fairy tale. I want to respect you, like, if you, like, Of course, nothing, I wouldn't like, respect myself. Like, yeah. Me, yeah, I've, but I've always kind of been that type of person where I put everything into what I was doing. I mean, I wanted to be in the NBA when I was nine, and I had no business thinking that that would ever be possible, but, like, it was an impossible task, and I tried so hard to the point where I would, like, injured my body because I would work out every day Maybe playing basketball. Maybe now you just buy a NBA team one day. Yeah, I'll just buy a team, like, Mark Cuban. But, like... From that, m that passion and desire to make this unattainable goal that I did not ultimately attain, I then transferred that into all of my future endeavors. Like I did at my corporate jobs and in the army, and now in Sheath, I wake up every day, and that's I'm like it's like an obsession. And if you want to be successful, if you can, I know people. In my I'm just trying to think of like going through my prototype development when I was doing all this stuff and I was super crazy, like, I've, I've slowed down a little bit since I met you, and maybe even before I met you, I'm not nearly as, like, intense as I was with doing stuff. I know people ask, like, were making me feel like I was crazy because I was doing the things that I was doing, and I was like, I just, you know, eventually, as of this point, like, I've changed my number, I block. <laughs> it's not a lot of people, but it's one person, but... Like, she just never got it. Like, she's not going to get it. She's going to sit there and be like, you're driving yourself crazy. You need to relax. And, it, like, the, the thing is, is, like, I'm sitting there telling her. And at the end of the day, it was like, she'll never, she'll never understand. Like, she'll never be me. Like, she'll never, I don't know, want it bad enough. I was also thinking, maybe, like, no segue here, but, like, how, like, motivated people are when they really want something. And I was thinking of, like, crackheads. Like, literally, like, like they that. have, like, no money. They have, like, no job. They're, like, not stable. They don't have family they can turn to. Maybe sometimes they do. But, like, I mean, like, I, I, I was thinking, and I'm not, like, familiar with this, but, like, I think, like, a crack, like, head addish, addiction or, like, heroin or whatever is, like, expensive, right? Uh -huh. Probably more expensive than, like, my house and my student loans and credit cards and my stuff that I pay. For them to maintain their addiction uh, costs more than 
my mortgage. That's a great analogy. I mean, right? Addiction, and like, addiction is like motiv- motivation, the I ultimate mean, like, motivation. They, like, they, like, they want that more than they can breathe. They mm-hmm. don't have a job. They look like shit. They're all fucking spun out. But yet, somehow, they still fucking make it happen, like, every day. They're willing to lie, cheat, and, and steal. But you got, I, we can't I, yeah, do but that. They're not, but they're not lie, cheating, and stealing. But the motivation to get up to do it, to get that kind of money, to invest that kind of money into whatever it is that they are wanting to get. Because at the end of the day, that addiction is costing more than my house and my car payment and my mortgage payment, my utilities and my cable and my blah, 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 blah. Like, times two. But they have no job. Well, that, like, that, that wake up in the morning of that they, they feel like they need this more than they need oxygen. They're going to make a way. I mean, they're, they're hustling. They're, they're making, like, you know, about that. I don't, I don't know if he was a crackhead, but I bought that from a, that wooden yeah. thingy right there from the homeless person. You know, like, they're, 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 how much are they making a day? You know, how much do they want it? Probably not that much, but let me say this. Uh, when I was 23, I read a book <laughs> called Think and Grow Rich. And that's, people think that it's, like, it has, sometimes it has a negative connotation because it's like think and grow rich you just want to be rich but if you read the whole book it's not just about making money but one of the chapters has to do with desire and you have to have what he calls like a white hot burning desire and it comes from it has to be it starts with a thought and you know if you visualize it and it has to become an obsession ultimately if you want it I mean like some people maybe they just don't have it in them like no offense or whatever I don't know I don't even want to say my brother eventually told me two brothers you know, nice there are, but no and I have two brothers so but my older brother shout out to Will <laughs> told me I should just on my first initial batch he was like you need to just get rid of these and you know go back and get like a regular job or whatever and and I didn't listen to him, but it, it had already been kind of burned into my mind that this is what I, would, I was going to do, and that no, nothing anyone told me was going to change that. I mean, my grandmother told me the same thing. It's not like he was the only one, and my other people in my life said, you know, are you sure this is a good idea? And I, but I, it was without hesitation. I knew, like I knew, like I knew that this was it was going to be successful, and it, because I was going to make it successful. You could sell tires. You could sell towels the sham wow was a fucking towel and it was you know made into a mul- i still remember a multi-million dollar brand because somebody made it to be that way and koala is going to be the same way if you put in the work and and convince other people but sh- that it, it is going to be that like i'm convinced because i like it if you really like koala bags which you do and i do you know like other people are also, are also going to, but you have to, they, they don't even know about it. I mean, them. the thing is, is that I... You have to make... I a, mean, the truth be told, I'm not, like, super into fashion. I'm more into functional. functionality. Yeah. But it's a cute bag. It's reasonably priced, and I wanted to buy it. It didn't exist, so I made it. So hopefully other people will come around and buy it. But they have to know about it, and that's where the, the work and the passion and the obsession comes in, because they're not going to know that it exists until you make them aware the of it. The Kickstarter. Yeah. And so. we'll get to it. I mean... I, when I started, I was still in the army. You know, it didn't happen overnight. That was 2010. I didn't get out till 2012. So that was two years of me still being in the army, still trying. Here's to the side here's hustle. the thing. It's like for me, it's like when I started it, I just wanted to finish it, and I feel like I almost kind of finished it, and I'm still kind of going along. But to have an idea, so many people have ideas, ideas for days, right? How many people get to the point where you're at where they actually created it and they well, made no, it into I mean, an I was actual driving product home and, brand. and like in the world like wanted you like put it to the universe to find somebody else that was doing what I was trying to do to have you know I don't know anyway but I mean I feel like I've already kind of you know I've kind of already kind of checked that box I think you're past the crowning stage like you've given birth to this baby and now it's like a baby but it needs it still needs a lot of TLC and it needs to be shared with the world and that's where the next stage of development comes in you create the product but now you have to make it well I'm waiting for a USPTO for my office action and then I want to get that passed and I want to have everything for the diaper bags for the backpacks for the fashion bags and then I want to do those walls of protection and I want to prove that then I want to throw some money at it and prove marketability and then I want to sell it yeah and a lot of people okay. just that's what a lot of people want to do and I think that's a viable option and then buy a mountain house yes and that'll be fun and for save us. maybe one or two children in the process. Do good things. 
Yeah, we don't want to just make money and like live in an ivory castle and like and laugh at everyone. And I still want to coach Go Ball. Yeah, we want to give so back. I guess I'm going to be coaching Go Ball next year too. So. I want to give back. I want to share what I've learned and 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 like whatever money that we make. I want to do good with it. You know, mm-hmm. like buy really cool shoes. It'll be so cool to do a podcast in like two or three years, like not in my bedroom warehouse, shipment, everything place. Yeah, it'll be from our, our cabin in the woods, and you guys are going to see deer in the front yard, and we're going to be like, oh. So Vortex November, so visualize us doing this with like a really cool, and it like snowing. Yeah. And like a, like a fire crackling over here. Mm. Yeah, so you visualize it. You have to, and you have to want to like feel what it's All like right, to be in here we go. We'll have to share it. this. Yes. So you can't, it's done. They're everywhere. Boom. That's what we're looking towards 35 getting. Thirty-five acres. You guys can come visit. <laughs> Those of you that are watching are probably friends of ours because like nobody's watching this. But maybe by the time you're watching this, millions of people would have watched it. Probably not. But maybe. A good note. You've made like a hundred bucks. Since in the in the, in the last minutes thirty-five or... minutes, yeah. yeah. Every good. time we get on here, our numbers go up, and so I do appreciate you, anybody that's watching it. Leave us a message, tell us that we're rambling too much and we're like not staying on topic, or say that it's valuable in some way. Or if you want us to um, expand more on certain things, there's some questions in there that Tara put in there about a relationship, so I'm kind of waiting to get to those. Oh, like, that'll be fun. Yeah, so she made some questions and put them in there. Oh yeah, because we're like a couple, an entrepreneurial couple. We're both have we both have our own businesses, and. How and like how does that affect things? I think it's cool, but we'll get to that um, maybe in one of the next. We only but there's only like five more of these questions. We'll have to start adding to them. There's we'll, more than five. Is there? Maybe ten. We can add more. Yeah, we're definitely gonna add more. I'm just saying. Yeah, Some of them are more questions about like people that people that ask us questions, but we'll see. Six, whatever. Five or seven. six. Okay. We'll put more in there. But maybe somebody else will have a question. Or maybe they'll have some something nice to say. Or maybe they won't have nice things to say. But either way, we could make changes on that. And we could be more exciting. I think we're pretty exciting. <laughs> I think we're that exciting. We'll get better. And we will. I've got, I mean, from when I started doing these types of things, I, I went from being like deer in the headlights to at least I don't really think about it. What you it? did They're good today. Laugh this morning you were on the radio. You did really good. And the mic drop when you were talking at the um, Inventors, what Expo. was that? Expo, yeah. yeah that yeah. was really good. On the stage and everything. That yeah, was I did my, super I, I, I think I mentioned on the last one, but I did my first keynote speech at the Denver Inventors Expo now in Pamparo. <gasps> How do I not? That was late. I, that was well, earlier this month. Well, there, I go to so many of these things. It's yeah. Like, but, um, yeah, so face your fears, put yourself out there. You'll even, you'll get over the anxiety after a few times. You know, st- I started on, if you do start on Twitter, which is, um, Periscope, nobody's watching. And if anybody's watching, they're in like Pakistan or in like somewhere in another country. And so it's nobody you're going to know. So nobody's going to judge you. And then. You know, slowly you're like you dipping your YouTube toes channel in the water because like nobody's watching us. I think so. Yeah, I mean, how many videos get uploaded on YouTube every minute? Like, I've seen some videos on YouTube. They're really good. I feel like we're not that good yet. We're not that good. We're yet. not doing anything special. But it's for us, and then for whoever's watching. You know. It is kind of cool because we're documenting. Like it's gonna be fun. Like mm-hmm. if anything, it's just kind of where we're at. So. So we're gonna come back and watch these in ten years and laugh. I'm at like, ourselves. yeah, like in a year. Okay, maybe we should do this right now. Like in a year from now, we should come back and we should watch. Maybe not the whole. Like, I, do you actually watch the, after we? I don't watch them either. But maybe we should like watch some. Mm-hmm. But yeah. But if anybody's interested, let us know. If anybody has questions, ask us. If not, then it's fine. It's still good. It's for us, and it's it's all good. It's totally good. Love you. Love you. Yay. Yay. Okay, guys. Have a good night or day, week, month, year, life. (laughs)